everyone? Welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week we're going to be cooking on the big green egg. We're going to do you an appetizer this week, and we're going to take butterfly venison tenderloin and wrap them in bacon. Stick around! Okay, everybody. What we have here is some venison tenderloin that's been butterflied. Some bacon that I actually pre-cooked. I didn't get it done all the way because I was afraid as quick as this venison's gonna cook, the bacon won't get crispy. Today we're gonna use our Meat Church fajita seasoning. We've used this on quite a few things. It works really good. Just gonna give it a little sprinkle on, on this venison. Hit the other side. Now, much like you're wrapping a scallop or anything like that, I'm gonna fold these up. This will add some fat to the uh, the venison because it's a really lean meat. Just run your screw, your toothpick or whatever you have down through there. Fold this guy. That bad boy. Oh. Okay, we're gonna cook these direct on a big green egg today. Gonna hit them with just a little bit more of that meat, Church. These things aren't gonna take long, so this will be a quick cook. Okay, everyone, we're at the point where we can start mopping these. We're using big green eggs, traditional mopping sauce today. These things are just about done. They are looking fine. I'll let these go for a few more minutes and hit them with a little bit more of that mop sauce. Okay, everyone. We just checked these with our instant read thermometer and these bad boys are done, and they look good. Just gonna 
do a little bit more. Yes, just kind of dribble it over. That's it. Gonna let these cool, and we're gonna give them a shot. And see how they turned out. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We got a our venison wrapped bacon done. I'm gonna pull out these skewers. And give this a shot. See how it turned out. They're jumping away from me. Look at a piece of that bacon. That bacon really helps with adding some juice to venison. Anybody that knows and eats venison a lot, like our family does, it can dry out. So you got to be careful with it when you're cooking it. But the fajita seasoning and that base we put on at the end really kicked it up to a whole nother level. I would definitely give this a try. You could probably make them a little bit smaller. And then you could, you know, get them out for appetizers or whatever, but give it a shot. Remember, keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, go to YouTube, like and subscribe. Get your song. Yeah. Oh, man. Beauty. Mmm. Monkeys on board.